and then uh, wrapped the poor stuffed caterpillar in plastic bags and then duct taped over the top of that. And then I left the uh, ransom note that said, basically, you will never see your caterpillar again. We are totally not in this room. Uh, with help, unfortunately, kind of ruined it because she happened to just track me down uh, before she ever saw the note. So I was like, hey, do you like your kidnapped Wiggler? And she hadn't even noticed at that point. So I kind of ruined it there. But oh well. There's, if you look through the album and, uh, if someone wants to just give the link to that album, I know some of you have started looking through it, uh, you can see The Sad Withheld with Kidnapped Wiggler. Uh, props to Withheld, by the way, for, uh, taking it in kind of the intended spirit and not killing me. What the intended spirit was, I don't even know, but it was just like a lighthearted thing I did because I was bored. It wasn't, like, malicious or anything. Like, I very consciously wrapped it in such a way that I wouldn't do any actual damage to the Wiggler. Uh, let's see. Also, I believe I said Puncher Boxer. Uh, so, hello, Betray001. And, ah, my chat. Why? Why you do this? Oh, thank you, Sanrio Mix. Hello, Booty Gay. Uh, let's see. Hello. I think that's actually the only people who are still left. Hi, Mario. Mario the cat is, uh... Mario the cat thinks he's the star of this particular stream, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Hello, official diva fan club. Um... Let's see. I guess I'll, uh... I guess I'll start... Are there plans for Blues Brothers co-op? Um, if I go to AGDQ 2014, I suppose. Um... Honestly, I think, uh... AGDQ 2013 is probably the last, uh... GDQ marathon I'm going to be directly involved with for a while, if ever. For various reasons. Um... I, uh, the cat wants company, I think, except now he's just up on the table sniffing Mrs. Empty Eyes. I think it's knitting stuff over there. <laughs> what are you batting at over there, Mario? Bat bat. Bat bat. I hope she doesn't have any, like, knitting projects over there or anything. Because that would be bad. <laughs> um, so, okay, uh... Uh, do I plan to do Small Mario Warpless? That's actually an interesting question, and kind of an interesting run I'd like to do. I don't know if the route would necessarily be any different, uh, on a macro level. Um, I'd have to play through the game Warpless again. I haven't done that in so long that... <laughs> yeah, I actually have, like, a little jingle that I call the Mr. Mario jingle. That occasionally I'll just start singing when I'm petting him or whatever. Hey Mario, come here. Mario, come on. Mario, come on. Up on my lap. Come on. Come on. Good jump. Good jump. You do it. Come on. Come on. Good jump. Good jump. Come on. No. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh, don't worry. I plan on speedrunning that Hello Kitty Roller Rescue. It will contain Hello Kitty and Rolling and Rescuing. Uh, not necessarily in that order. But, uh, don't worry. Oh, the Woosh, man. Also, hello, Robin Mask. The Woosh is going to be the secret weapon. Um, if Hello Kitty, uh, ends up in the top three or four, that will definitely be, uh, when I do the thousand follower appreciation, that will definitely be, uh, that will definitely be one of the... It'll be casual speed run time, no doubt. It will be great fun. Whoosh. Unfortunately, in the interest of speed running, I'll have to stick with whatever her default weapon is. <laughs> it's not, uh... 
it's not the giant toy hammer, unfortunately. I think it's just like some kind of magic wand. Also, hello, just another computer. Um, only to wake them up. <laughs> just another computer. Or to get them to stop snoring in some cases. So. <laughs> did I have fun at AGDQ? Um, I did, but a lot of it was not necessarily due to AGDQ itself. Also, one second. Laundry's done. Let's do something about that. All right, there we go. So let's see here. Uh, hello, YSG fanboy 1999, and Mr. Me 24, and PJPE, and Elmarn. I'm gonna have to copy this link here. Uh, leak. Yeah. All right, so here's what we're going to have to do here. Oh, boy. Hi, uh, great. Wonderful. Hello, Solar Flare and Joseph8765. <laughs> yep, I think I just, uh, I'm about to crash something here. Yep. Uh, when people took my hat, did I put in any itching powder? No, I did not. Um, <laughs> anime card game uh, shout outs to Withheld for introducing me to what I call the That Made game what is actually called Tonto Quare um, uh, the short answer Ed Raisin is I did not know about anime card game when I made the poll uh, answer number two is I do not actually own anime card game Let's see here. Uh, but yeah, okay, that's right. 
Uh, did I have fun at AGDQ? Yes, but a lot of it didn't have to do with the marathon itself, necessarily. Um, like, a lot of my hangout time was actually, um, like, just in the practice rooms and in some of the other rooms and just, uh, you know, outside uh, playing games with other people or just, you know, kind of sitting on my computer working on some other stuff. I didn't watch a lot of the marathon this year, actually. Uh, I did watch more of it as it went on, especially, like, Wednesday into Thursday, um, the awful games done quick block. Um, but, I mean, other than that, a lot of the fun for me was just, like, hanging out with everybody who was there. Like, I didn't do a whole lot. Uh... Oh, uh, Edrizen, that's okay. Um... Everyone, apparently everybody who plays it just calls it that maid game. Like, I apologized to Withheld after I was like, ooh, it's the maid game. And everyone was like, oh, it's okay, it's just the maid game, don't worry about it. <laughs> also, hello, Dragon Dark. Yeah, that was a good race. You, uh, you caught up pretty good there at the end. Uh, just another computer, not to my knowledge. Um, certainly not on stream. Oh, I was hyped. That was actually one of the days I stayed up pretty late, was to watch that Air Fortress race. I'd kind of forgotten about that. Like, I think I kept to a mostly normal sleep schedule. Um, except for, like, Wednesday into Thursday, because of the awful games done quick block. Where I got, like, a, um... I got, like, a two and a half hour kind of nap in before the start of... Before Subterranea. And then, uh... After that, I slept like another three and a half hours and got up for good. Also, hello, Hero Fred. Do I miss Blue Glass? Blue Glass is a cool guy. I have no idea how he feels about being called Yellow Shirt Guy, honestly. I'm not sure he's even necessarily aware of it. Um, I mean, I, I guess he'd have to be at this point, but... Like, I have no problem being called Cape Guy, because I kind of helped to perpetuate that, but... Also, hello, Kaspov. You miss Sonic 06. Mike89, what kind of Sonic fan are you? Then again, I miss Sonic 06 as well. Uh, I just wanted to see Subterranea mainly, and then I was like, well, I guess I'll stay up for the rest of Awful Games. One thing I will say is I greatly enjoyed the mystery game. Um... One thing I enjoyed almost as much was people being confused, uh, either because of its placement, um, because of its placement immediately after Awful Games, or because PJ has a not entirely deserved reputation for playing Awful Games, where all the people, both, uh, you know, in the chat and also even in attendance at AGDQ going, what? But what is this? I'm confused. Pocky and Rocky is a good game. It's like, yeah... The mystery game was Pocky and Rocky, which actually is a good game. <laughs> but it's like, PJ has this reputation for being like this titan of terrible games, but I would argue most of the games he plays aren't that bad. Um, granting the bad games are really bad. Uh, see Metal Morph, uh, Dream TV. Um, but like, every... A lot of what else he plays, even, I would argue, up to and including Lagoon, are actually not terrible games. Um. Oh, is that the, uh, the picture from, uh... Yeah, I like how the, uh, yeah, I did like how the system, like, they unintentionally ended up hyping it up even more doing that. Uh, if they did, they did a good job of it, hence secretly. <laughs> uh, 
So but here's the thing. Poverty doesn't necessarily mean bad games. Um, like, as I understand it, poverty originated in, like, the arcade community, where, um, and, uh, 